Tonight, acting DHS uh, Secretary Chad Wolf is condemning this violence, refusing to stand down. He joins us live on the ground in Portland. Sir, thank you for being with us. Uh, I guess the first question is, okay, in every case where the president is offered and given help, Minneapolis, D.C., for example, things have gotten under control. Uh, Seattle, uh, we had reports and then confirmed by the president. He said, yeah, we said we're going to go in, which precipitated finally the end of the CHOP Chaz zone where innocent people died. Uh, now it's happened in other cities. You see the violence in Chicago. You see the violence in New York, other places. So now you're going to get lectured by a mayor that is doing nothing to stop the violence or protect businesses in that city. Well, thank you for having me, Sean. And that's exactly right. Uh, so earlier this week, I called not only the mayor, but the governor. Uh, I offered DHS support to help them locally address the situation that's going on in Portland. Uh, and their only response was, please pack up and go home. Uh, and that's just not going to happen on my watch. So we need to make sure that we're supporting our law enforcement officers here uh, and making sure that they're going to continue to protect the federal courthouse here. That's what the DHS does. Uh, that's our mission. We're not going to abdicate our mission, our responsibilities. Uh, however, whatever the local leadership here is telling us, we're going to do our job. Uh, we're going to do it professionally, uh, but we're not going to have these violent anarchists uh, who show up about the same time every night uh, for a series of hours uh, and having that federal destruction to property. I was able to tour the courthouse here. I saw the graffiti. I saw the broken windows, the broken doors. There's a, uh, there's a facility right across the street from the courthouse that has 47 coats of paint on it. They have to paint the facility every night after it gets graffitied. So it's time that we take a stand. It's time that uh, the local leaders here publicly condemn what the violent anarchists are doing. Uh, and only then, I think, uh, will police, local police and federal police get this under control. I've been saying if you like what's happening in New York, Chicago, Seattle, now Portland and other places, again, cities run by liberal Democrats for decades, uh, that would be a preview of coming attractions if, if Joe Biden is elected. I'm trying to wrap my mind around this. They, you are offering to help create safety and security for the people of Portland. The president's offered all of these cities. Now, he can constitutionally use the 1807 Insurrection Act, but the president has also said that he is going to go in and he's going to restore order in these war zones. What will that entail? We're going to hear apparently very soon. Absolutely. And again, we continue to offer that support, specifically here in Portland, uh, wanting to make sure that they have enough assets, whether it's personnel, whether it's capabilities. And that was my direct ask uh, and offer uh, to the mayor. And again, uh, the only response was, was please pack up and go home. And again, I, you know, I asked the mayor and I asked others, what do you think that's going to uh, occur if that we're going to have a courthouse, we're going to have federal facilities overrun again by these violent anarchists. So what I'm asking all state and local leaders here uh, in Portland, in Oregon, is come out specifically and publicly condemn these violent anarchists, because otherwise you're creating an environment, you're fostering an environment uh, that continues to breed this type of lawlessness. We saw this back in 2018, unfortunately, here in Portland, where they set siege to an ICE facility for over 28 days. Um, so this is the type of environment, again, that's fostered here. Uh, we've had enough of it. We're going to continue to protect the courthouse and do our mission at the end of the day. All right, Secretary Wolf, it's, it's mind-numbing to me, protecting business, protecting citizens, safety and security. If you don't have safety and security, you can't have life, liberty, and a pursuit of happiness. It's impossible. Thank you, sir. All right.